I'm in the Fairview Elementary stream team and today we launched rockets. We took STEM and we added reading and art to make stream team. Now the students absolutely love this because it is creative thinking, it's hands on, and they can relate this to real world connections, which is very, very important. Now this group here meets once a week before school and they're challenged with some problem solving activities. So this is our little egg drop thing. More of a box, but it's really cool and different from all the others. Because it's a small box and they, the other ones were like bottles and like um, bags and stuff. But this one did a really good job holding our egg until the last time when we threw it up in the air, the egg fell out, so that was a fail. But the, it was able to launch over the building, which was good. Like one person would be taping, and like one person would be would be adding stuff on to, and like thinking about what we can we, what we can um, do to make it to make the egg not crack. And so, so we so we thought of the parachute because because we knew um, it would catch wind and it would softly float down without without the egg cracking. Uh, this was like our first project that we did. Oh yeah. And it was actually a very interesting project because we only had straws like. Like marshmallows and um, toothpicks, and even some popsicle sticks right here. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know honestly how it withstood the shake table, <clears throat> but it was a very fun project. <clears throat> that um, diagonal are more powerful than straight. If there's only horizontals, then your your building would fail. If there was only diagonals, your building would also fail. Did you get to eat the marshmallows? We, we ate one. You did? No. I ate one without getting sick. We have a rocket that we built out of a giant soda and with some cardboard friends, some Publix carbs, and, and a tape. lot of tape. And the top of an egg. And we have paper inside of here, if you can see, to balance out. And this is our fuel that we are going to use. We had to have teamwork and work together. Yeah. And so what is your hope with this? Um, that it will high. shoot farther than other people's rockets. Farther and higher. Are you excited about this? Yes. Okay. As I tell you what, is some of these kids sitting in this room right now that are going to create new careers. They're going to invent and create new entire industries that don't even exist right now. Hold the cat. <laughs>
Because like um, it it was really cool how it how straight it went, but I think we could improve on like trying trying to put less tape to make it lighter so it will go higher and um, to shoot farther um, to straighten the fence a little more. Yeah, it, the wings it were kind of bendy, so we might put some more tape on that just to make it more stable. Probably less tape because, like, like less tape, so like it isn't as heavy. And we also because needed to fix our fence because they were bending, <laughs> and they needed to like be straight, and they were bending on the tips because when we sat it down, it was laying flat, and then the tips were bended. And if they're bended and they're going like instead of this going like that, it could cause more drag. So I think we need to fix our wings because it kind of went to the left and they were really floppy. I thought the arch was amazing. It was probably the most magnificent thing I've ever done. It went like way higher than I expected it to. <laughs> we doubted that it would go higher than the sword. 